Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Kelly Worthman in for Karen Lee. And I'm Michael Spencer in for Michaelia White. Opening statements began today in the trial of the third officer accused of having a role in the death of Elijah McClain. Aurora police officer Nathan Woodyard is charged with manslaughter and criminal negligent homicide. According to the indictment against him, Woodyard put McLean in two separate chokeholds, causing him to go unconscious. He then allegedly climbed on top of the unarmed 23-year-old when he did regain consciousness. Elijah McLean was only 23 when he died, six days after that violent encounter. Paramedics injected him with ketamine to sedate him. This after someone called police saying they saw a strange man wearing a mask. Your reporter Rick Salinger has been all over this and has been listening to today's opening statements. So Rick, how is Nathan Woodyard's role in this incident different from the two officers previously on trial? Well, Kelly and Michael, in the police body camera video, you hear someone right at the beginning say, stop, stop, to Elijah McClain. That was Woodyard. He was the primary officer. He was also the one that performed the carotid hold on McClain, which made him go unconscious briefly before he began to vomit. Rick, we know you were listening in today. What did you hear in these opening statements? Well, the prosecution told the jury that Woodyard did not follow his training, that he did nothing to help McLean after putting him in that neck hold. The defense said this case is about one person killing another person, but the only killer is ketamine, which was the sedative injected by paramedics. Rick, thank you for that update. Now, as we first told you last week, the jury found Randy Rodema guilty of criminal negligent homicide and third-degree assault, while Jason Rosenblatt was found not guilty of manslaughter and assault. Both faced felony charges of criminal negligent homicide, manslaughter, and second-degree assault. The sentencing for Rodema is scheduled for January 5th.